Okay, we've got a lot going on on this uh, setup screen. Uh, we've got the two swing planes, uh, club and uh, the shoulder turn. We have also see the spine angle tilt at 44 degrees, which according to research, that's the typical number that a tour pro uses. We also see a great flex in the knees. Uh, what, this is an awesome setup. Uh, she is a little bit rounded in the shoulders. We'd like to see maybe the spine actually be a little bit more level. Uh, notice how it's above the red line and curving. Uh, if we can straighten that out a little bit, uh, maybe we'll pull the shoulders back and get the hips tilted up a little bit, you can see the hips are a little bit flat. You want to feel like you're uh, bending forward at the hips, not at the waist. Let's watch the takeaway here. Not a bad takeaway. Look at how steady she stands. A little bit of head movement, not bad. And when she gets to this position right here, the club is blocking our view of the hands. Uh, and I'll come back to this without the blue lines in a second, and you'll see that. Her spine angle staying really good. Notice the right leg is maintaining its flex very nicely. She's up on the swing plane almost perfectly. Uh, the left shoulder could be a little lower, so the shoulder is on the swing plane. You can see the club is nicely on the swing plane, but she stops right there. Uh, she's got a little bit more movement. I'd like to see her try to get her hands up uh, to the top blue line. In order to do that, she's got to get her left shoulder under the blue line. But notice that the flex is maintained in the right leg. This is a great athletic golf swing right here. She's going to drop her head down a little bit, bring in the club right back down the swing plane. Look at that. That's This is classic. This is very, very good. Right on through the shot. A little pulling up out of that. That's, we, that's not uncommon that we see the back pull up because what happens is the right knee starts moving to the golf ball. The right knee needs to move to the left knee, not to the golf ball. That puts us out of position. There's where her problem exists, right there. And what we want to feel like is that we're rolling to the inside of that trail foot. Uh, this is the only sport where it's okay to roll your ankles. That way we don't get into this pulled up position that you can see she's in right now. If I clear everything out of the way, you can see that her spine angle is lost and that her right knee has moved well towards the golf ball. Now, I promised you I was going to take you back. And you can see a little bit of a, a separation there. You can see that the, uh, the right, uh, L, right knee has not moved to the left knee, but rather out towards the golf ball. We can't let it move towards the golf ball. Now, let's go back to that spot I told you I, would, I was going to show you how the golf club comes almost perfectly in a spot right about in there where it's going to block our view of the hand. See how good that is? Right there, that is awesome. Uh, that's a great position. What I'd like to see is maybe a little bit more toe up at that point right there uh, where the club is a little bit more perpendicular to the ground. Uh, but I do like that move. So what we're going to work on is trying to maintain that right knee from coming out, creating that pull up position. What we're going to do is we're going to try to drive the hips more towards the target, the, left, the right knee to the left knee, not to the ball, and rotate on through the shot. But she's got great mechanics on the upper part of the body. We're just going to work on her lower part.